Hello guys, today we are going to discuss another topic which is about mid-semester report template for the project you do for your M-Tech uh, in data science from Bits Plani and this is applicable for other stream as well but uh, I hope it can be reused by other people as well. So during your mid-semester report review you need to provide two documents. One, one is your mid-semester report, uh, what you have done so far, what is your progress and I will share that, that template with you. I will also explain you what you can include and also one presentation you need to prepare you don't need to share it but you need to prepare so that you can uh, use it during your viva i prefer to have six slides for the discussion because it can drive the discussion properly so you can start with having your topic name and then you can uh, write one line about the solution whatever the pro problem you are solving and the solution you are proposing you can write down one line for like an example you can if you are with a sales solution you can write little bit about sales what it will do and how it will help Moving to the next, this you need to include another called agenda and here you can have like executive summary which means like what you are doing just a very high level uh, information from your past discussion. Your professor or evaluator or examiner might already have watched or read your last outline again but uh, you just give them a brief idea. Then there might be some questions open from the outline so you should address those questions as well. Uh, in the last discussion we had these open points you wanted me to do so and so and these are the progress and the status of those questions right now. Then you should also talk about the additions what you have done uh, in up to the mid semester and the progresses we have made. So you could use uh, codes in pairs, log, logs of your experiments and things like that to explain that and the next steps what you are going to do and during this will, uh, or he will also the, your professor will also give you some suggestions on the on, on the steps as well so that's that's what you should include in your presentations when you are talking about the mid semester and let's go to the report now in the report uh, you will have a cover page you will have contents like this like mm -hmm. this so for example in the mid semester evaluation from from the supervisor you, this is nothing to be done from your side you will give a pdf to your supervisor and he will grade your work so far and then you need to attach that into the report problem statement here you need to uh, again repeat your problem statement from the outline but now it needs to be comprehensive because till this point you might have understood very well your problem and refine it properly uh, you can include like i have given some ideas you can include like um, ideas from the literature review and the gap analysis we have done you can build some pointers on that and this looks very neat and clean once you include these pointers the another one is going to be reference and studies done for the project this is nothing but is lower literature review so uh, why i say reference and studies because you might have some blog read some blogs you might have watched some videos and things like that so if you want to include that too you can include in this section basically you are answering three question what is the need understanding of the solution do you understand why do you need this pro this solution and what are the existing solutions comparable to your solution and what is the gap on those which you are trying to fill in the gap analysis report so this is a very important uh, section you should do it properly and it will help you in your career as well because now you will have visibility and clarity on your thoughts next part is key component of the project this component has like i have put three uh, major components you can have like more but uh, at least you should cover data strategy how you are going to get the data what are the obstacles for that and which data set you want to use so that you can put over here then evaluation metric which metric you want to utilize for evaluating your performance of the model and the project however it is so you need to put that too and explain it little bit uh, in, in detail I have done it for my custom work so I have explained it very well and the technology decisions maybe you want to build your solution in Python on cloud and things like that so you can mention those over here as well the next components comes is a solution architecture and design so this is like some high level boxes and integration how do you build it you can search it on Google and you will understand what I mean by solution architecture and design if you don't know already but it is like some boxes okay from here data flows this and then you trigger your model then you trigger your pipeline and things like that okay then you should also explain a little bit about your experiment looks you might have already done uh, one or two experiment so far so write a story about your approach results here and where you can also include you know the results and experiment as a table so you say this was the experiment this was my decision this was the my result on that then uh, so far if you have done a baseline model include those results and their snippets if possible and then uh, furthermore whatever the experiments you have then you can also talk about the little bit about the detailed plan of the work like uh, uh, so far how you have progressed for example the way this is done that is done and this is not done things like that this is this is really helps them 
then also key issues and obstacles you might during this development on up to mid semester you might, you might have faced some issues and obstacles so for example data quality is always a issue everywhere privacy concerns and things like that you can elaborate them more here so that you have a comprehensive report for mid semester as well never forget to include references references the paper you read the websites the blogs anything and mark them properly like uh, annotate them as somebody is reading a research paper so these are the things you should consider when you are building a mid semester report i'll uh, i'll inc i'll include this into the comment section you can find this uh, as a reference from the from the video description itself so that it helps you so after this i'll also explain you about the final project report if you want to know that please subscribe to the channel and like the video uh, see you in the next video thanks a lot